Now, I want to I want to touch on a Twitter thread you posted recently. You had a really interesting perspective that I think a lot of people in the Lightning space don't necessarily always appreciate. Um, you you had this thread, and I'll just kind of like run through highlights here. Uh, you, you said that oftentimes we compare Bitcoin and Lightning Network to uh, fiat payment networks, but the comparisons reference the state of fiat payments like a decade ago, and not the cutting edge you know, innovations that are happening in fiat markets. Uh, and basically you said that, uh, you know, you highlighted a few different features that were coming online in fiat payment networks, how it was making payments instant, uh, 24, 7, 365 cheap. And, and that these were not necessarily the things that were going to push lightning adoption forward because all the other payment networks are also getting to that point. The point you made at the end uh, was that, we need to focus on the things that Bitcoin can do and, and be clear about that. And, and some of those things I'll just highlight. I think you, you listed four of them. Uh, one was property rights and, and being non-custodial, uh, free speech, and that is you know Tor and sovereign computing, free trade, just private peer-to-peer -peer payments, and public works, which is proof-of-work mining and lightning routing. Now, two parts to this question. One is, how did you come to make this realization that it's not important to be focused on the, you know, the speed necessarily and the 24-7, 365, because a lot of people in Lightning do focus on that. Um, and then second, what is Fold planning to do? You, you may have touched on it in a previous question, but what are your plans in terms of like focusing on those things that Bitcoin can do that nothing else can do in the property rights, the free speech, the, you know, the free trade and the, and the public works? Yeah, so part of it is the like, roll back to where we were when lightning was just started you know when when you know we had all of this we had these four cores of you know bch forking off and this whole debate of medium exchange versus store of value what bitcoin is and what bitcoin isn't um, but we knew a lot of what bitcoin was already proving out to do in a very big way or what it could <laughs> offer the world and uh you know that experiment ran and very clearly bitcoin's core core uh, properties clearly won out over the forks that have that have come out come out of it showing that you know bitcoin is not we're not here to make bitcoin into a you know visa payments network that is low cost like that did but then we had lightning come in saying well actually we can make it like that it can be bitcoin and this and a lot of the lightning uh uh, community and focus was to focus on what these new superpowers were that it gave to Bitcoin. And that's when we started to talk a lot about, Hey, it's 24, seven, 365 and banks don't close and, you know, and lightning. Um, it's instantaneous. Uh, it can be just as fast or faster than a visa transaction. Um, it can be cheaper than a visa transaction. Um, and all these things were like great superpower add on features to Bitcoin and, my point is not it's okay that we're not 24 7 365 or it's okay that we're not instant it's that that's not the state that we're chasing that's not we need to be very clear about what the end goal here is and it's in service of amplifying bitcoin's core value proposition it's not in extending or competing against a feature set that fiat has and so what that means is i highlighted some of these very real things that's coming out hey guys uh, 24 seven, 365 settlement is coming. Penny, penny fees for transaction is coming. These are not the value propositions that Bitcoin or lightning network is going to compete on. Lightning network is going to compete because it amplifies Bitcoin's core value propositions and does things that fiat cannot. Number one, it is borderless from the absolute beginning and payments cannot be stopped. That alone is a huge value problem and that that's valuable whether that happens instantaneous or every 10 minutes that's valuable if it costs 30 dollars or it costs a cent that's valuable if it if it stop if it didn't work on weekends that would be valuable um and that is something that the fiat network fundamentally cannot do it cannot it cannot provide that um the the other bit is is of um uh, so, you know, mining and proof of work, this is an unstoppable economic incentive that is there that provides number one access to the system, but also a means of, of, of revenue and essentially a, a, a 
I called it a public work. Some people got pissed about that because it, it's related to a, you know government programs. But the point was that this is a all of this is a, a decentralized alternative to these things that have been tried in experiments in the past. And so when we think about building, it's important not to make Bitcoin more fiat or compete against fiat. It's important to amplify what Bitcoin can, what fiat cannot do and what Bitcoin can only do. And so this is why it should it should really and the, the, the outcome of this, because people are like, hey, now what? What does that mean? Yes, it's important. You have to offer instantaneous. Yes, you have to do this stuff. It's like, yeah, you do. You do. And user experience, it needs to compete that way. But what we need to do is be focused on what the end goal is. And that will define where our roadmaps go. Because if we just end up creating a system that looks a lot like Fiat, it's as fast as Fiat, as cheap as Fiat. And we've made a lot of sacrifices along the way. We're, we're going to lose that battle. Where we, where we win is the most seamless way to self-custody your assets along this process. Fiat cannot do that. Where we win is the, the easiest way to send money wherever someone is in the world. That is where we win. We win when we uh, allow businesses from day one to be global enterprises and not balkanized in different regions. And that is an idea but it's also something that has to be built. And there, the incentives right now are pretty much mostly aligned with how do we create the most easiest user experience, the best user experience. And oftentimes what that means, it means making sacrifices that will make Bitcoin and Bitcoin products look a lot more like fiat than it does true Bitcoin products. And so it's really a call to builders to understand that, hey, there's the easy way and there's ways that will give you the quick hit. And then there's the long-term way, which ultimately will lead to the success, the, the, the ongoing success of this entire uh, project that we're in. And that's really doing the work to amplify what Bitcoin is great at, not what not match what fiat is going to be great at too. And so it's, it's a thing of, it's, it's tried to be a little bit provocative in that way, but it's, it's also true. Like this is the same thing when we talk about the B in the fork wars and we can learn a lot from that is like, yes, we, we created a system that could potentially max, you know, match throughput of fiat, you know, fiat products. That's not the goal because along the way you sacrifice some of the very, um, uh, elementary, um, parts that make Bitcoin special. And you sacrifice the security layer, the decentralization layer, you sacrifice all of that. And what that ultimately means, it's worth nothing, which is what we see in the value of uh, Bitcoin Cash today. So let's make Bitcoin valuable on what Bitcoin's best at. And that requires people to build. And so luckily, we are seeing that. I think things like Fediment, um, uh, self-custodial wallets, truly peer-to-peer -peer, um, uh, uh, payment protocols. I think things like Noster and Start9 and all, all of these things are, are moving that way. And those will get less fiat vc capital um along the way those will get less um uh, uh a less adoption along the way so the best possible things that uh companies like fold um uh strike unchained and these that have kind of broken through in a little bit and gotten to the next level of growth is that we should also be building this and we should also be uh supporting the building of that of those elements and so it's really a call to action and a reminder more than anything, because I think it's also a, a example and a, a good reflection that lightning has succeeded in a lot of ways. We know that there is a path to instant near free 24 seven access to payments borderless. Like it's there, we did it, but now let's mm -hmm. remember what the whole big project is as well.